So here I am at Paso de los Ladrones. That's the track I came across, across the plateau. I came that in front of us now is the Barranco de Morgan. It runs from the, the sea, where I'm staying, uh, which is down on the, to the left, down the Branco. Some signs there. Um, and all the way up past, yeah, so I'm staying in, in um, uh, Playa de Mogán, or Puerto de Mogán, on the coast. Uh, yeah, so this is the Pueblo, Pueblo de Mogán, or Mogán Pueblo, the town of Mogán, which is up the valley, about maybe eight kilometers from the sea, up the Branco. Uh, slightly cooler up here, of course, uh, and wetter normally. Um, so, so that's Mogan itself, a chunky enough place, a few nice restaurants and shops to visit. Just slightly above it there, up a path, you may see a zigzag path, is the village of Veneguera. So it's a nice walk, Veneguera to Mogan Pueblo. Uh, also... We should see. What can we see? It's blocked by the rocks. Mm. Now we can't see it's blocked, but uh, there's a mill, a windmill. Just outside Morgan. So I reached a decision point really. Whether to go down, not 700 meters, uh, a couple of hundred meters ascent there. I had a look at it a little while ago. I did a recce down there a bit. It's a very solid path. Uh, rough, but uh, people do it. Uh, but it gets very narrow at parts, and there are steep drops. And uh, not for me today. I could. I was. My plan was to go to Mogan, which is only another couple of hundred, uh, two kilometers, I'd say at most, and uh, get a bus back. Uh, but I, I'll walk back where I came. It's about seven kilometers or something like that. Eight, maybe. Which is a decent walk. So that'll be a, a nice walk for a day. A bit breezy now. Hope you can hear me. Uh, but very, very nice. Lots of nice vegetation and flowers here. Butterflies, insects of various sorts, and the odd lizard peeps out. So, top up, put, or uh, drink some water, and head back down the way I came up. sign. 